costumes, more costumes, more costumes, more costumes, their bags. Are you ready for your first call? And Addie like did this thing and the teacher was like, she's doing it better than all of you. <laughs> he said he had a doctor's appointment today and he um, can go back to school Monday. What's up, fam? Good morning. I am getting ready to go to the kids' dance competition. It's the kids' first dance competition of the season. Dance season is here. This is one of, I believe, four competitions that they're doing this season. And if you follow me for a while, you kind of know how this goes for us. We go, or if you're a dancer, you know, then you know how this goes. But basically, you spend the weekend usually away, like at a hotel or something, and you, by you I mean the kids, take dance classes from like famous dancers, famous choreographers, and then they get to perform and compete their numbers that they've been practicing practicing all year long. I'm going through my handy dandy travel backpack. I bring this thing everywhere with me. It's just like a basic backpack I got from like Target or something and it's like the best thing that I've ever done. The thing with it though is that usually between my last trip and my next trip, I don't touch it. So I'm going through it and throwing away like boarding passes. And this must have been from Disney World. I think that's the last. Oh, Disneyland. Yes, Disneyland. Last place we went in December. But I usually have just like boarding passes, little weird things. I don't know. I'm just going through it and emptying out everything to prepare for the weekend. Oh, happy birthday, Addy. I gotta keep that. I just got to Target. Here, I'm going to grab a couple things for this weekend. I'm gonna leave you guys in the car because I didn't bring a purse, so I'll see you after. Oh, okay, I'm back from Target. I needed some um, clothes, athletic clothes for Addie and Caden. So I got some of those. Oh, I had Amazon was just delivered. I have seen this all over TikTok. Has anyone else? Like, I am so excited to try it. It's like a lip plumper. And I, I don't know, it sold me. It might not work. I'll let you know. And then these books I ordered off of Amazon for the kids um, projects. We went to the, to the library the other day. I don't know if I ever ended up like talking about it, but they had nothing <laughs> that they needed. Like literally nothing. So I ended up just getting them online. They were really cheap on Amazon. So I was like, I'll just buy them there. And then also the kids have a like dance sister or like a dance brother, meaning it's like an older kid is paired with a younger kid to help create that like family feel on a team. So one of the things that they do at the first competition is get them gifts, like they get their their dance sister or dance brother a gift. So Lilia gave me some ideas this morning and I picked some things up at Target. I just got, she said that her dance sister likes Oreos. So I got Oreos and slime for one and then Oreos and this little, I don't know. She said get something cute and I thought that was cute. So that'll work. We really need to leave. Like they have classes today. So if they want to make the, they're optional classes, but they really want to do them. If they want to make those classes, I think it starts at four, which means we need to leave here no, not a second later than 1.30. So I have to pick up the kids early from school. Um, oh, we still have so much to do. I don't wanna take them out of school for just for them to wait around. So I'm gonna finish everything that we need to do here and then decide. I don't know. Plus, before I leave, I have to film a couple sponsorships for Instagram, and I'm not gonna be home for the next few days, so I have to get that done before I leave so I can turn that in. I have other work stuff I have to do too, but I'm just gonna have to do it once I get there. Great, one Instagram story. If anyone's interested on in what sponsorships look like, each sponsorship is different, they each have different requirements, so this particular one has to be at least 45 seconds in length, which is a three frame Instagram story, and then they send you like talking points and things that you have to talk about, and then like what the deal is, or what the call to action, the CTA is. This one looks pretty simple. I'm gonna go ahead and record that really quick. Okay, we're going through all of the stuff that we need for the weekend. We've got makeup, costumes, more costumes, more costumes, more costumes, their bags. That's the lunch. Did we grab Lunchables for Lilia? Grab some Lunchables. And then um, Addie's actually coming. I don't think I have talked about this yet, but I know it's so exciting. She is old enough now to actually participate in a dance convention. So she technically can do comp, but it's kind of a big commitment and she has expressed interest, but this is a good way to kind of dip her toes into it and see what it's all about. So she's doing this, they, at this at this particular convention, they have something called Broadway Babies and it's for the little, little girls and you can just sign up for the class. So she's obviously not competing or anything. She's not on the competition team, but she gets to actually go to this class and be taught by one of the dancers and they get to perform the dances on stage. At least they used to. I hope they still do that. Who knows because COVID's changed everything, but I'm so excited. So she's coming with us this weekend or for the first half of the weekend anyway. And then Chris is gonna come up tomorrow, watch the comp and then watch her perform and then take her home and then we'll stay the whole extra day because it'd be otherwise pretty boring for her up there. I think she's gonna like it though. I really feel like she, I don't know, we'll see. But we need to make sure we do not forget 
anything down to e each little piece, each earring, each hair piece, eyelashes, eyelash glue I know I have. Their lipstick, they actually are, <laughs> they're allowed to take their masks off for some of the performances, which is a first. They were trying to practice like through their mask, but these dancers have not performed without masks in two years. So I'm hoping that their facial expressions have stuck around. Probably not, they haven't needed to use them. So they've been trying to practice their facial expressions on stage for, cause Lilia's, well actually, funny story about Lilia. She's in a bunch of dances, but one of her dances, one of the girls dropped out this week, literally this week. And so it brought it down from a small group down to a trio. So she's now in a duo and a trio and Caden has a duo. And now with that happening, Lilia's trio is competing against Caden's duo. And that wasn't the plan. They weren't gonna have them competing against each other, but because of that dropout, they had to change things last minute. And so now they're competing against each other. So we're gonna finish up packing. It is 108. We really need to leave by 1.30, babe. Do you think you could go pick them up from school and we're gonna finish packing this stuff? You just need to get Addie, Lilia, and Caden. The other two can stay. Do you want me to get them right now? Yes, please. Addie, are you ready? Are you ready for your first call? It's gonna take an hour and 45 minutes to get there and their first class is at 4.30. What is it, what time is it saying we're gonna get there? Like, uh, right at 4.30? 4 401 is our, is our Mom, ETA, I, so. Mom, I, what, baby? Think, well, this is like the earliest I think we've ever left for a competition. We normally leave like when it's dark outside. We used to walk out at night in July, you and I. Just in time, the class starts at 4.30, it's 4.09. We're doing good. This class is technically for all ages, but it's like a beginner slash intermediate level, so that you have the kids of all ages in here. Technically, anyone can take it, because it's the first class, well, anyone who's like registered, so she's like. <laughs> She wanted to take it. This is not her class, it is way above her level, but if she's happy, I'm happy. Okay, we changed Addie into actual dance clothes. I was not expecting her to take this class because technically it's for the bigger kids, but she is just so excited. Look at her, she's like, sissy, look. But it's like geared towards like beginner slash intermediate and then the next class is intermediate slash advanced. They're like dancing, obviously, and Addie like did this thing and the teacher was like, how old are you? And she's like, five, and she's like, she's doing it better than all of you. <laughs> Change clothes just for this? Yeah, she was so excited. Look at her do that. She really is good at that. <laughs> she gets like one leg in it, even if she's like a second leg. Yeah, oh, dude, you're right. right. The right way. checked into our rooms. Lily is taking the next oh, class, intermediate advanced class. A bobby pin. I didn't come with a bobby pin. <laughs> if you're part of the dance convention, they give you this little like goodie bag and it has barrettes, bobby pins, band-aids. No, I gave her both of these. Oh, no, thank you. No, you gave me these two. Makeup remover wipe and a lollipop and a wristband. <laughs> How fun. Wait, we need to bring our luggage wipes. up, guys. Two, wipes. two makeup wipes. That's actually really use like useful. Okay, are you guys ready? We have to go get our luggage now. All right, we're getting ready for bedtime over here. Caden's talking to big Caden on there. He said he had a doctor's appointment today and he um, can go back to school Monday. Ready for bed, Addie? I feel like it's been a long day and it like tomorrow's gonna be, ooh, ooh, tomorrow's gonna be long. They do have observer bands this time, which 
Last year they did not, just because of COVID stuff, but they do this year, so that's a win. So I'm gonna put mine on right now because tomorrow morning we have to wake up, crawl out of bed, and go. Like it's gonna be crazy from 6 a.m. tomorrow until about 3. And then after that we can breathe, but it's gonna be non-stop going. So we'll see you in the morning. I love you. <laughs> oh my god! A very special improv solo. Oh my god, my god, it's crazy. 